This one is a little bit different because um, one of my friends made it up and this one is called the amusement park tag. Who knows? Maybe other people will have a similar idea or other things that they'd want to add to it. So, um, here we go. My favorite amusement park right now is a tie between Cedar Point and Disney World in Florida. My phone, my wallet, and my keys to drive home. Contrary to popular belief, black people can also get skin cancer and all sorts of other skin things, and we can get sunburn too. But to answer the question, I always bring sunscreen just in case. Yes, Disney World, Magic Kingdom. The place was massive and I got lost because there's a lot of like weird corridors that like sometimes can lead to like a bathroom nook or like the smoking section. But like in Disney World, there's some places that just lead to nowhere. And then you get stuck with like this huge fence. Um, it, it sucked. I was lost for about 20 minutes. I only go to movies at partial roller coasters. I could really care less about the other small ones. People that get food but then leave the containers and like plastic stuff on the table. Like don't walk literally less than two feet away to the trash can and throw their stuff away. They just leave it there. <sighs> There's a job that is specifically to clean up, but that's just really to like take out the trash and sweep every now and then for like the trash that didn't quite make it in the receptacle, it was just kind of on it. And that's a whole nother level of lazy, but whatever. That depends. If it is the, like the day is just starting and I'm hungry, I'll typically go and get like some popcorn because it's wonderful and it's mobile. You can walk around with it and it won't make a mess. But if like I'm sitting down and God willing, it's not windy, there is, uh, I always get funnel cakes and I always get like a whole bunch of like uh, powdered sugar on it. Like it looks like it was a blizzard on it and it's wonderful. You can't walk with those because if the wind blows or if someone bumps into you, it'll go all over your clothes. I like to have a writing buddy, and it's really nice, but I don't always need one. Back where I used to live, I lived by Six Flags Great America, which is in like Northern Illinois, uh, Gurney actually. I went to that park four times by myself because I'm that much of like a roller coaster nerd. It's fun the first two times because there's no voices in the back of your head or behind you saying, hey, let's go do this. Hey, let's go do that. Oh, I'm hungry. I have to use the bathroom. I'm so tired. Let's go home. There's so many things that could be said to you, but aren't being said because you're the only one there. So you can just roam and ride as many things as you want, as many times as you want. But the real big caveat that I think a lot of people forget you talk a lot when you're at an amusement park. When you don't have a group and you're by yourself, if it's a short line, it's feasible. Just don't talk. Just like look at your phone or, or just watch the ride go and go and go. If it's a long line and there's no one with you that's riding too, it's like being in an elevator, but the elevator moves two or three steps every 20 minutes or so. You really don't want to talk to anyone, but people still have conversations. Not fun. I haven't been to Six Flags Magic Mountain, primarily out of like pride, but all of my roller coaster geek friends tell me that Six Flags Magic Mountain will blow Cedar Point out of the water, but I have yet to find out. July 4th weekend, uh, when we got there, I mean, long story short, when I'm driving long distance, sometimes I'll just like drive barefoot. And in this case, I was riding in the back seat barefoot. And for some reason, I didn't bring my shoes. So when we got to the park, I'm like, oh, I need to put my shoes on. My shoes are nowhere to be found because they're in the hotel room. And the only shoes that are left are my mom's light lime greenish Nike shoes that just didn't even look right with what I had on. But, and they were actually like two sizes too small. 
But they were shoes and it was Cedar Point. I'm going to go in somehow, some way. So I toughed it out, but my toes were like, in like people's shoes, like this. And like when your feet are normal, your feet are like this and they're flat. But when, like the whole day, my feet were like this in her shoes. And it was so uncomfortable, but I was just happy to be there anyway. Like that foot diagram. Universal Studios, definitely, by far. I was there for a high school trip because I was in show choir and we had just competed the, um, the day prior. Or the, the, we were gonna compete the day afterwards. I only go to amusement parks for roller coasters, but Universal Studios has some rides that are just as good, if not better, than some roller coasters. Um, we did the Incredible Hulk ride, which was really, really, really fun. Um, it like shoots you off into the air and you do flips and stuff. Uh, but then we we went on the Mummy ride, which was crazy, but fire and like special effects, like you could smell the gas before they lit the fire and it was really hot. Um, and then we did the Twister ride and then we went to Hogwarts and rode the Harry Potter ride, which if, I'll have to talk about that in another video when I just talk about amusement parks, but you gotta go. <laughs> that was the amusement park tag. I hope you liked it. Anyone who is watching this, you should do the same thing too, because I'm sure there's a lot of things that have happened to you at amusement parks. If you have anything you want to tell me or anything that has happened to you at an amusement park, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you liked this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Let's do this again sometime. Later.